Hey guys, how you doing? Today is September 20, Friday. Um, a lot of small investors like me will be very happy, right? Because yesterday, all the all the indicators, all the index of US stock rise up, right? And I just look at the future of tonight, and also they rise up, right? For 300 pounds or 200 pounds, something like that, right? And then a lot of voices come out from anywhere, from everywhere, and saying that the market is going to crash. A lot of countries is selling the um, U.S. Treasury Treasury bond, and then the U.S. dollar is going to crash, something like that, right? And then the market is going to crash, and then put up the interest rate of half of um, 0.5%, it indicates the recession in US, then the market is going to crash, something like that, right? A lot, a lot of noises. I will explain a little bit here, and then also will explain my point of view in my Hong Kong program, right? And today we are going to have a brief look on Shopify, right? We own this stock before, and we saw it. Actually, we got a loss on this stock, right? And this stock being dropped. It in 2020 from about 160 something to a, ter a very terribly low level just about $30 and then it's rise up to 90 something and then now it goes down to 70 something right. um, now it's nearly two years after the pandemic I think that all the stock if okay, then it should be stored to the normal level, right? But not for Shopify, although should be balanced, right? I've been waiting it for two years for a good um, financial result, but it still not happened, right? So we will um, briefly take a look on Shopify, right? Actually, we all know that Shopify is an e-commerce, e-commerce solution, right? But this technology is already over, right? It's like Alibaba, like Taobao in China, not high technology anymore, right? A lot of company, just um, maybe one app can do it. Very simple, very quick, very fast, right? Then for a lot of people, they want to sell their product on the platform, they only need to go to another platform subscribe and then use the paypal and then you immediately have your own company right and then you shop on there put the things onto your shelf on the platform on the internet and then you can do your business now it's very common very easy very cheap as well right so this is not um high technology anymore right we have to be aware of that not AI, not data center, right? Okay, then our Falcon portfolio been um, increased it for a few percent, right, to one one eight percent. So for any of you then um, have any comment, then you can leave your comment under the YouTube, or you can directly email to me by US Stock Market Weekly at gmail dot com. This is our cover. Shopify is another e-commerce stock, but the technology is already over. Right. Yesterday, Dow Jones Wow increased it by 522 points. Um, actually, the highest one should be 600 something. Right. I seen it. I seen it on the mobile phone. Nasdaq Wow. 18,000 already, right? Increased by 440. And um, we sold PayPal. And then actually one week before we bought a pilot material with a good discount, right? So now our Falcon 350,000 portfolio with a portfolio performance of 118%. And this year we achieved our target already, right? Increased by 14%. So 14 for 14 to 15 percent is our normal target per year, right? 
um, Dow Jones jumps and then S&P jumps, something like that, right? Let me explain here, right? Um, a lot of people then start already sold their US stock already. And they are thinking that um, putting down the interest rate of uh, half percent means there is a recession. But if your memory serves you well, you remember why US, the Fed, put up the interest rate because of the inflation. Why, why there is inflation? Because for Ukraine and Russia. And then now she put it down, right? Just by half percent. So this is normal, right? Why do you think there's a recession? Um, I, I'm not saying that US will not have a recession. But she put it up and then put it down again. What's wrong with that? What makes you think that um, the US stock market will crash for 30 or 40 or 50 percent? Recession? Right? You sure about that? Or the um, president election? So a lot, a lot of data is still not sure. All right. You're still not sure. Um, US dollar weak, of course. Well, of course. Because they um decreased the interest rate. And then um a lot of country will dump out the treasury treasury bond because then the interest rate is lower, but they have more money than if they want to invest. And then because all the company in the US pay less dividend pay less interest right then maybe they will increase on the stock and then they will put the money back into the stock market and make it strong again that means the money may flow out from the US and if the market is okay the money will flow in like many years before in the Lehman Brothers some of the um, short sellers they want to short sell back share that means one buffer but they fail. Why? Because um, Berkshire had a lot, a lot of cash. Right? How can you not sell it? You can't do it. Right? So like this before, then you're sure the market will crash for 30%, 40% or 50%? I won't argue with you for the market to fail 3,000 points for the Dow Jones. I won't argue with you. Right? 3,000 or even 5,000, I won't argue with you. But what makes you think it will crash for 30%, 40% or 50%? Right? 50% means, means the Dow Jones only have 21,000 points. What makes you think? Only you guess, right? Only you guess. So don't guess. Look at the data. Look at the data. Look at what happened before your eyes, right? Um, for Japan, right? Of course, Japan will not cut the interest rate because her interest rate for lending is just a quarter percent, right? She already put up the yen, right? I don't think that she will put up the interest rate now because that will crash the property market. I think she is doing right, right? And China, of course, then will um, keep the loan prime rate at 3.35, right? Because U.S. lowered it already. Lowered it already, half percent. So I don't think she need to. But it won't change anything. That means she put it down or unchanged. I don't think there will be much change in the market of China, right? Very weak. And the Fed has set out a recalibration of policy, right? That means we have to adjust the market. That means decrease the um, interest that need to pay out for the past few years, right? For putting up the interest rate of the Treasury yield. And then make the market, make the company earn more money. And then attract other investors the money into US. That is the recalibration, right? Maybe there is recession, I don't know, right? But I don't think that 
only this reason, the U.S. stock market will crash for 30, 40, or 50 percent, right? I don't think so. What do you think? Right, so for BOJ, that means Bank of Japan, they will keep the interest rate steady. That's a correct thing. Um, China, actually China before, before um, the Fed decreased by half percent, she will decrease, she will decrease, put down the um, lending rate a little bit. But now if US already did it, right, there's no point for her to put it down, right? But I don't think that there will be a lot of things changed, right? So we go to Shopify. Shopify is a is a company from Canada, right? And once Shopify stands still in um, US, right? Public listed, raised the money. You can see that, right? The um, the stock price continuously to rise up. Maximum is about one hundred and seventy, right? Then she crashed it. It's just right before she goes to 2022 right and actually the job of shopify is to making an e-commerce platform for a lot of people that want to do the business to join give the subscription give the merchant solution money right and then she will provide the um service online pc offline then you can put your merchandise onto that or she provide it as well. Actually, if you pay the money, then you can do everything, including delivery, just some cake, just a cake, and then it will deliver to your customer. Right? Very convenient. But very convenient is few years before. Now, this kind of e-commerce like Alibaba is not high technology anymore. The only thing that costs you money is for the um, server and for the data center. Very expensive. Monthly eat up a lot of money or your profit. So we can see that for the past five years, she's still keeping 146% for the stock price increase. And for the past year, mm, still okay increased by 38 percent right and PE ratio is still 81 too high right with no dividend everything seems fine for Q2 right you can see that revenue increased by 25 percent excluding logistic right logistic is burning money so have to exclude logistic gross profit grow and then operating expense down per quarter is it we will take a look and then the free cash flow margin is double all right new product update right increased it for 150 features and then the gmv that means the total money the gross amount of the money of the value that use this platform is 1 billion this is us dollar right and then the accumulative offline GMV that means not on the platform maybe offline is 100 billion well right? uh, sorry in between is 1 trillion right the right hand side is 100 billion since the launch right not for this quarter and since the launch of Shopify so online offline B2B global domestic all of this um, scenario should pay a role um for those brands that um launched it on shopify um only two brands i know is one is um toys r us and then one is um lusotica right for the um eyeglasses others i i don't know and this is for um this year second quarter wow very good right for the gross amount of money using Shopify for this quarter, increased by 
same store sales go up right um for merchant uh for merchant based globally go up and even in europe the same store sales goes up seems okay right um revenue increased by um 25 percent if excluding the logistic if included the logistic is only by 21 percent merchant solution plus subscription solution make up the revenue right merchant solution increased by 19 percent and the subscription solution increased by 27 percent right um monthly recurring means the old customer right that means every month then use every month use increased by 25 percent right gross profit increased by 25 percent right then uh company gross margin 51 percent subscription gross margin 82 percent merchant solution 39 percent fee cash flow um 333 billion us dollar increased a lot because one uh one year before is only 97 million us dollar and the fee cash flow margin increased it from one year before six percent to now is 16 percent all goes well right but if we take a look if we take a look on the net income only 171 billion us dollar that means the net income percentage is only eight percent where we know why we can see that the revenue total is 20 billion us dollar right and the cost of revenue is 10 and the operating expense is eight that means cost of revenue operating expense plus the um tax eat up all the revenue so if we count it for half half year still the net income is the loss right but um the lucky thing is one year before the loss is very serious one year before 1.3 billion us dollar very very serious right they did eat up all the revenue on the balance sheet she did a good job right we can see that the current asset hmm okay 6.4 billion us dollar right the total liability is only 1.3 and a lot of money that she has in the form of marketable securities that means stock right and then she has a lot of cash 1.5 billion us dollar right for a pe is 68 and now the pe is 81 so we have to think right um shopify's stock price been crashed nearly two years before right just at the end of 2001 well end of 2001 nearly more than two years before and then the stock price still not recover and then not only the stock price um the expenditure is very high for the cost of the revenue and the operating expense why why so high it is because then she has to win for the server and the database and that costs her a lot of money and the employee is in is increasing the salary benefit blah 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 blah, blah everything is increasing right but can she easily raise the money can she easily raise the fee that means increase the subscription fee increase the fee for the merchant solution no why because the competition is rigorous out there not a uh, very high not a uh, very high technology anymore and then for the people that i want to do the business on on the platform can they earn a lot of money no if they can earn a lot of money that's okay you can put up the um charging fee but no a lot of competition is coming from china 
a lot of competition is coming from India, right? A lot of them. So it's not easy for her to put up the, um, no matter it's the merchant solution or the subscription fee. If she put it up, then maybe the customer will turn to another platform. Because now this is not high technology anymore. Right? So she had to think about it. Right? Now seems okay. Now seems okay, right? On the right track, right? Start to have some net income, but that took too long. That took really too long, more than two years, right? So uh, I will be quite conservative on this stock, and then if the stock market really crash, sixty eight or eighty one PE is too high. Must be the target for the short seller. So have to be aware of that. I will have a more detailed explanation on our Hong Kong channels, right? So pay attention to that, right? Okay, thanks guys for watching and then like, comment, share, uh, welcome. And then please press the bell icon and then any video uploaded, then you will get the um, information from YouTube. Okay, thanks guys for watching and then I hope everyone have a very peaceful weekend. See you guys on next Friday. Bye-bye.